Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the ongoing controversies surrounding Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, and the fallout from his infamous Newsnight interview. Make sure to stay until the end for all the important details, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more royal family updates. Prince Andrew has been facing severe public backlash ever since his 2019 Newsnight interview, an event that has now gone down in history as one of the most catastrophic public relations moments for a member of the British royal family. Despite his legal team and advisors urging him not to participate, the Duke of York went ahead with the interview, a decision that ultimately led to a public relations nightmare and the eventual stripping of his royal titles and patronages. In the wake of the interview, many commentators have analyzed the reasons behind Prince Andrew's downfall. Some have blamed Buckingham Palace for failing to protect the prince, but journalist Lee Cohen argues otherwise. In an interview with GB News, Cohen shared his perspective on the matter, stating that it was Andrew's own decision to disregard the advice from those around him that led to the debacle. Andrew wasn't let down by Buckingham Palace. He let himself down, Cohen remarked, pointing out that the royal had been strongly advised against participating in the interview. Despite this, Andrew chose to ignore the guidance of those who understood the risks of engaging with the media, particularly on such a sensitive issue. Paul Tweed, a close friend of Prince Andrew and a renowned media lawyer, also weighed in on the issue in his new book. Tweed revealed that Andrew's legal team and Buckingham Palace had strongly advised him not to participate in the BBC Newsnight interview. According to Tweed, had Andrew followed their counsel, he might have been able to avoid much of the fallout that followed. In fact, many experts within the royal circle believe that Andrew could have salvaged his reputation if he had simply remained silent and allowed his legal team to handle the accusations behind the scenes. Instead, Andrew's decision to speak publicly about his connections to Jeffrey Epstein, the convicted sex offender, and the allegations made by Virginia Jufri severely backfired. The interview, which was intended to clear his name, instead raised more questions about his involvement with Epstein and the disturbing allegations against him. Critics pointed out Andrew's lack of empathy for the victims, his bizarre defense of his friendship with Epstein, and his inability to convincingly address the allegations that had been made against him. This, combined with his unprepared responses, led to widespread condemnation from the public and media alike. Prince Andrew's Newsnight interview, conducted by the seasoned journalist Emily Maitlis, was a highly anticipated event. Many believed it would be an opportunity for Andrew to clear his name and provide clarity on the accusations against him. However, what followed was an uncomfortable and, at times, baffling display of denial and poor judgment. During the interview, Prince Andrew attempted to distance himself from Jeffrey Epstein while simultaneously offering questionable justifications for maintaining his friendship with the convicted sex offender. Perhaps the most infamous moment came when Andrew claimed he could not have committed the alleged offenses because he was at a Pizza Express restaurant in Woking at the time, a statement that was widely mocked and ridiculed in the media. Journalist Lee Cohen noted that Andrew's failure to adequately prepare for the interview was one of the biggest reasons for its disastrous outcome. It appears that Andrew did not adequately prepare for the interview and it led to a disastrous performance, Cohen stated. He explained that while Buckingham Palace is typically well-equipped to manage such situations, Andrew's refusal to listen to the experts around him played a significant role in his downfall. Rather than showing remorse or empathy for the victims of Epstein's crimes, Andrew came across as defensive and out of touch, further damaging his public image. The backlash was swift and unforgiving, with many calling for him to step down from public duties immediately. At the heart of Prince Andrew's controversy is his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, the disgraced financier who was convicted of sex trafficking and abusing underage girls. Andrew's friendship with Epstein has been a source of concern for many years, but it reached a boiling point when Virginia Jufri came forward with allegations that the Duke of York had sexually abused her on three occasions while she was still a minor. Jufri's claims became the subject of a civil lawsuit, in which she accused Prince Andrew of raping her when she was 17 years old. 
Andrew repeatedly denied the allegations, claiming he had no recollection of meeting Jufri, despite the existence of a widely circulated photograph showing them together with Epstein's associate Ghislaine Maxwell. Ultimately, Andrew chose to settle the lawsuit out of court in early 2022. The settlement was reported to be in the millions, and while it allowed Andrew to avoid a potentially damaging trial, it did little to repair his reputation. Importantly, the settlement did not include an admission of guilt on Andrew's part, but it was enough to seal his fate in the eyes of the public and the royal family. As the public outcry over the interview and the allegations grew louder, Buckingham Palace took decisive action. In early 2020, it was announced that Prince Andrew would be stepping back from his royal duties. This decision was made in an effort to distance the royal family from the scandal, which had tarnished the reputation of the monarchy. Soon after, Andrew was stripped of his royal titles and patronages, a move that signaled the seriousness of the situation. His absence from public life has been noticeable, with Andrew largely retreating from the spotlight in the years since the interview. He has not been present at many royal events, and his once prominent role within the family has been significantly diminished. In addition to his legal and public relations troubles, Prince Andrew has also found himself at odds with his brother, King Charles III. The two have reportedly been in conflict over Andrew's living arrangements, with Charles pushing for Andrew to move out of the 30-bedroom Royal Lodge and relocate to Frogmore Cottage. Andrew, however, has been reluctant to leave the Royal Lodge, a residence he has called home for many years. His refusal to budge has only deepened the rift between the two brothers, with insiders claiming that King Charles is growing increasingly impatient with Andrew's unwillingness to follow royal protocol. The tension between the brothers has become yet another chapter in the ongoing drama surrounding the Duke of York. As Charles takes on his role as the new king, there is speculation that he may take further steps to distance the monarchy from Andrew's scandals. Public opinion of Prince Andrew has plummeted in the wake of the Newsnight interview and the subsequent legal battle with Virginia Jufri. Many see his refusal to fully cooperate with investigations into his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein as indicative of a man unwilling to face the consequences of his actions. His continued resistance to follow royal advice, both before and after the interview, has also damaged his standing within the royal family. The ongoing feud with King Charles has only added to the perception that Andrew is a liability for the monarchy, one that King Charles may need to address more firmly as his reign progresses. What do you think of Prince Andrew's actions? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to stay updated on all the latest royal family news.